was a Tuesday morning of September 11, 2001. While every New Yorker was very busy, rushing to get to their offices, an unexpected traumatic event is waiting to happen in New York City. This is September 11 attacks, or commonly known as 9-11. On that Tuesday morning of September 11, 2001. American 11 Boston. The cockpit's not answering. Somebody's stabbed in business class. And um, I think there's mates that we can't breathe. I, I don't know. I think we're getting hijacked. We have some claims. Just stay quiet and you'll be okay. We're returning to the airport. Nobody moves. Everything will be okay. If you try to make any move, you'll danger yourself and the airplane. Nineteen terrorists hijacked four commercial airlines and their goal was to crash the planes into prominent American buildings inflicting mass casualties and major structural damage. The hijackers successfully crashed the first two planes. The first plane to hit its target was the American Airlines Flight Number 11. It was crashed in the North Tower of the World Trade Center at 8.46 a.m., causing massive structural damage and igniting thousands of gallons of jet fuel that the plane was carrying. 17 minutes after the first plane crashed, at 9.03 a.m., the United Airlines Flight Number 175 hit the South Tower of the World Trade Center. So now I'm here at the North Tower. Way back 2001, this was the first building attacked by the terrorists which caused the death of all people inside the World Trade Center. Both 110-story towers collapsed within an hour and 40 minutes, leading to the collapse of the other structures including seven World Trade Center and significantly damaging surrounding buildings. Everyone was shocked. Policemen, medics, and firefighters quickly responded trying to save those people who were trapped in the north and south tower of the World Trade Center. Some of them made it, but some of them not. Hours later, the terrorist attack was not yet over. So now I'm here at the South Tower. This was the second building attacked by the terrorists minutes after hitting the North Tower. The third plane crashed in Pentagon and the fourth plane that was intended to hit the federal government building in Washington, D.C. crashed down in a field outside Shanksville, Pennsylvania. A lot of passengers died, but their voices remain alive. This attack remains the deadliest terrorist attack in the human history and the single deadliest incident for firefighters and law enforcement officers in the history of the United States of America that resulted in 2,977 fatalities, over 25,000 injuries, and substantial long-term health consequences. Today, a memorial and a museum was built commemorating the September 11, 2001 attacks. So, these are the names of those people who died inside the World Trade Center. The names of the 2,983 victims are inscribed 
152 bronze parapets on the memorial pools. The names are arranged according to an algorithm, creating meaningful adjacencies based on relationships, proximity at the time of the attacks, company or organization affiliations, and in response to about 1,200 requests from family members. A two one-acre pool with the largest man-made waterfalls in the United States comprised the footprints of the Twin Towers, symbolizing the loss of life during the attacks. The waterfalls are intended to mute the sounds of the city, making a site a contemplative sanctuary. Tourists are very welcome to see the underground museum that has an artifacts from September 11, 2001, including steel from the Twin Towers, such as the last column, the last piece of steel to leave Ground Zero in May 2002. The memorial is located at the World Trade Center site, the former location the Twin Towers that were destroyed during the September 11 attacks. After the deadliest attack, America constructed this building and they call it as One World Trade Center that symbolizes hope for the future. From New York City, we traveled for about 46 minutes to reach the 9-11 memorial site in New Jersey. Now I'm heading to New Jersey to see a memorial that was constructed for the 9-11 victims. After riding the train, we walked for about 25 minutes to reach the Liberty State Park in New Jersey where the other 9-11 memorial is located. According to our research, there are a lot of memorials that pay tribute to the victims of 9-11 terrorist attack. And here in New Jersey, there is one, and they call it Empty Sky. The Empty Sky Memorial. It is the New Jersey State Official Memorial that is located at the Liberty State Park in Jersey City that honors the memory of the 746 New Jersey residents that lost their lives at the World Trade Center. So now I'm walking here inside the Empty Sky. It has two steel walls and you can see in the walls the list of the names of the new jersey residents died during the 9-11 attack the two stainless steel walls bearing the victims names create a pathway for the eye to look at the manhattan skyline where the twin towers once stood The length of these walls is equal to one side of the former World Trade Center towers while the height is proportionate to the measurements of the building lying side by side. Each year, a commemorative events are held at all three sites on the anniversary of the attacks. At the annual observance held at the 9-11 Memorial in Lower Manhattan, the family members of the victims Read the names of those who were killed in the 9-11 attacks. Paul Regan Cassio. Mary Ann Hepperman Casey. William Joseph Cashman. And our beloved son, J. Cyril 
Malaboyok de Chavez. Magandang umaga sa lahat. Good morning to all. JC, we love you and miss you every day. Your memory lives on even after all these years. Thank you for being our guardian angel. We miss you, your smile, and our talks. May you rest in peace, all those who are departed one on this tragedy date, 9-11. And may all rest in peace in the kingdom of God. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And this is the September 11 attacks or commonly known as 9-11.